I know that many of you know that you speak quickly, but I don't think you realize what that sounds like to the listener. I'm going to share with you my favorite quote by Winston Churchill that you may have heard several other times in my videos, but it's just such a perfect example of a before and an after, how you sound when you're speaking quickly versus more strategically. And then we'll talk about that. Winston Churchill once said, the three most difficult things a man can do is to climb a building leaning towards him, kiss a woman leaning away from him and deliver a public speech. Now, you probably are rolling your eyes and have no idea what I just said. So listen to the same quote strategically delivered. Winston Churchill once said, the three most difficult things a man can do is to climb a building leaning towards him, kiss a woman leaning away from him and deliver a public speech. Did you hear that difference? Are you ready to make a difference in the way you sound? My name is Jane Latz, founder of Corporate Speech Solutions. And today we are going to work on day three of your challenge. Are you ready? Remember to watch day two, the Clarity Challenge. And if you haven't yet, click over there and you can go right to the video on the Clarity Challenge. And if not, you can get it out of the description below, but make sure that you watch it. Day one was vocal presence, day two clarity, and today is how to slow down your rate of speech. The easiest way for me to introduce the idea of the strategic delivery of your message is think about an introduction you may give. My name is Jane Latz. I hope you heard the impact of Jane and Latz, but many of you go very quickly through your first name and last name. Many of you might have three, four, and five syllables in your first name and your last name. So if you rapidly say your first name and last name, people won't even be able to follow up with a question and use your first name. Now, my name is as simple as it gets in the United States, but people in India, China, Japan, you weren't raised with anyone named Jane. You're not familiar with the name Lats. So if I rush through it, you too won't get my name. So I want you to practice introducing yourself and say, my name is, pause, your first name, and think about tone, Jane. So I'm bringing my voice up so you know there's more to come. Pause, it's going to feel so awkward, but pause, and then your last name. Now, remember we talked about clarity yesterday. So when you say your first name and your last name, I want it to be with clarity. And then when you say your company name, corporate speech solutions, you might've seen me refer to the book I wrote, Communicate Up the Corporate Ladder, How to Succeed in Business with Clarity and Confidence. And this is explained beautifully in that book with our strategic marking system. Great opportunity for practice, but you don't have to rush out and buy the book. Of course, you don't have to rush out. You could go right to Amazon, but I want you to practice just putting in that pause. Sometimes a company name, let's say CSS, which is the first three letters of corporate speech solutions. Let's say I said CSS. I would again pause CSS. S, because if it wasn't right there in front of you, you might not hear it. So if your company is just letters, pause between the letters. And if it's words, pause between the words. Remember, the goal is to deliver your message with greater impact. 
practice. Practice your first name, pause, last name, and your company name. And then we could take it from there. I hope you found great value in day three of the challenge. We are building. If you practice vocal presence and you practice clarity, and now the strategic delivery of your message, you are halfway there. If you practice just these three videos, you are going to notice how people respond to you when you're speaking on the telephone, on the virtual platform, or in person. Be sure to click on the subscribe button. I'm pausing so you can do that, so you don't miss a single video, and especially you're here for the fourth challenge tomorrow, 7 a.m. It'll pop up and don't miss it. Tomorrow, we are going to talk a little bit about grammar. Are you ready for that? I hope to see you there. My name is Jane Latz with Corporate Speech Solutions, where we help you say it better.